Mr. Frederick. Your Highness. I've looked into your proposal and letter of interest in buying the vast land near the express. And I'm sorry we are not selling. Oh, Your Highness, I show me no disrespect. But is there no way we can convince you to sell the land to us? The board of directors will be extremely happy over this, Your Highness. And in furtherance to this, the board is also willing to give a whooping sum of 15 million naira to grease your palm. Oh, Mr. Frederick, I am sorry. I took this decision when I read your letter of interest. In order to carry my people along, as our people have a saying that Ohamweze is a Melora, I had to consult my chiefs. And they said the same. So, Mr. Frederick, I'm sorry. That's our final decision. Oh, Your Highness, what if an extra whooping sum of 20 million naira is added to the 50? Can we have a go? Mr. Frederick, money is not our problem. That land is more important to us than your establishment. Like I said, that's our final decision. Okay then, Your Highness. I think I should be taking my leave now. Uh, but in case if there is any change of mind, please, deem it fit to let me know. Um, Chief Ibe. Your Highness. Please, see him off. I may get to my house from there. You're permitted, Chifibe. Your Highness. I totally agree with your decision. But may I know your reasons for refusing them? <laughs> then see. My king. There is no other reason than if there is a security risk for our people. That piece of land is the entrance into our community. Will you want a stranger to occupy it and hem us in? Your Highness, that is exactly what is on my mind. Especially with the level of insecurity in the country. Yeah, Mr. Frederick, I am sorry that um, you could not get what you wanted. I am even more disappointed that I couldn't convince His Majesty. I believe all hope is not lost. With you around, you can still put in a word or two for us. We are ready to part with a sum of 100 million. Um, Mr. Frederick, as you can see, His Majesty is chief of the old block. He's very upright. In fact, he's an upright man and very educated. His Majesty and his chiefs are not swayed by materialism. And um, in this very kingdom, we prefer good names rather than money or cash or whatever. I'm really sorry I ought not to have mentioned it to you. I quite appreciate your effort. No problem. Thank you very much. It's all right. You're welcome. Some other time, eh? Same here. Have a nice day. Hundred million. Hundred 
million. And that reminds me, the palace secretary wanted to remind you that the succession initiation is already overdue. Just to remind you, Your Highness. Well, um, I am glad you reminded me of this. I will inform him on when the rites will be performed, please. So he will um, arrange for a press conference. Meanwhile, thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Highness. I beg to take my leave. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, my regards to your people. Okay, Your Highness. Here we are. How long have you been standing here? Long enough to have had your conversation with Chief Udensi. Oh yes, um, imagine a weighty matter escaping my mind. How could I have forgotten that it is time to name my successor to the throne of Isiyama and then prepare for the rites? Besides, it's high time my son returns home to understudy me. Hmm. It's better we set the record straight so we don't make mistakes. Your Majesty, I want to discuss a well, very important thing with you. I'm all ears, Your Majesty. Don't see you're my cousin, and at the same time, the Uno of Isiama Kingdom. And that makes you very important personality in our kingdom. But then say I have trusted you all my life. But this time I need a high level of trust from you. Your Majesty, you can always count on me. But then see. You and I know the secret behind my first son, Ikeji. Yes, Your Majesty. On no account shall anybody, not even my wife, know about her biography. Don't want my wife to know that Ikeji is my biological son. Please, Udansi. You can count on me. My lips are sealed forever. Good.
Olori, what record are you talking about? Members of the councils of your chiefs expect you to name a successor, isn't it? You and I know there is a record to be set straight. So that nobody is taken unawares among our children and the people of Isiana. There is no record to set straight. And I insist that there is no record to set straight. And I'm telling you that there is a record to be set straight. In case you have forgotten, I will remind you. That is it that you are planning. I want you to share it. I am warning you. I would rather die telling the truth than having it brutal inside of me. I have carried it long enough. Oguri, that a child can cry does not mean that dead bodies are not carried past his father's compound. There are things that are better left unsaid. Allow the past to remain where they are. Haven't you heard? There is no today without yesterday. The truth they say will set everyone free. And I'm ready to say it. I will say the truth whether you like it or not. I don't care.
Oh, on a gun here. <laughs> How are you? Fine. You're welcome. Good You're good welcome. You. I'm happy to see you. Oh, my dear. Our wife shall be well with you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, how was your trip? It was wonderful. Was wonderful. Dad! Ah. <laughs> how are you doing, Dad? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, you're welcome, my dear. Dad, do you still remember Choma? Um, you came with her the last time. You got it right, Dad. <laughs> Once again, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's beautiful. You can Thank say you. that again, Dad. <laughs> you're looking good. <laughs> Since you died, you're not looking bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm all right. <laughs> Thank you. But we got your message and came as soon as we could, yeah? What message did you get and who sent it? I sent it. Especially for you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, Mara here is good at cooking too. <laughs> but not as good as you, man. <laughs> Even my woman, she can cook too. <laughs> yes. um, excuse me, mother. Are you okay? Yes. Enjoy your meal, please. <laughs> I made it specially for you. <laughs> Am I trying to? I asked you to abort this baby. I can't marry you because I'm married and you know it. My friends, you know, my friends have to do something. Let me remove this pregnancy now. I'm not being right now. Mm -hmm. I'm so Obegeli, just stop crying. You understand me? You just, you just have to abort the baby. Please. I can't see you. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Just take it easy. It's okay. <laughs> something wrong and it is very serious because in all my 21 years I have never seen you and mother quarrel
Please, Father. What is the matter? Your mother wants to stay the honeycomb. I don't understand, Father. lost it. Trying to destroy all we built over the years. Trying to destroy my family. Whatever the issue is can be resolved. You don't need to get your blood pressure up. Remember your condition. Please, Father. You need to eat. My queen, I hope all is well. There's something I want to discuss with you. If we agree, why not? All will be well. Amara, have you not noticed the vibe in this house since we arrived? Well, I don't know what kind of vibe it is, but I feel it. I even brought it up with my husband, but he dismissed it. Same here, oh. I brought it up with Kalu. He quickly brushed it away. Hm. Whatever it is, I am sure that is what they are discussing over there. And I am sure that is the reason why mom asked all of us to come down. <sighs> Well, I don't think it's something to worry about. If it's something we should worry about, my husband would have told me about it. If you say so. Leave us. Chief Udense. My queen. 
I am shocked at your position. You being a cousin to my husband and part of this family, I had expected you to be happy with my position. Oh, Gori, you think your husband, who is the custodian of the history and tradition of our people, will want to derail it? If your husband was wrong, there is the council of chiefs and elders to correct him. But they're not. So why do you think you are the only one who is right? Well, you all may have your reason for supporting what is wrong, but I stand for justice and equity. Ogori, if I were you, I would let the sleeping dogs lie. Some things are better left unsaid. They are better left in the heart where they belong. It is for everyone's good. It is not a game of chess. If you ask me, it's a very serious matter. It is. And it's breaking him, eating him from inside. He didn't even know we were coming. My major concern right now is his health. It's really not good for him. I'm honestly worried. I know whatever the matter is. That is the reason mom summoned us home. We left our businesses, our jobs. I wonder why she's delaying telling us what the matter is. I suggest we confront them, to know what the matter is, to know how to resolve it. Yes, what do you think? Since you're not in agreement with me, I have nothing further to discuss.
Mother, is everything okay? You're filming. Why won't I film? Why? When the whole place is turning upside down. Mom, calm down. You know, this is not good for your health. Um, perhaps we could sit, talk, and find a solution together. Hmm. Mom, does it have to do with the reason you asked us to come home? Well, I will satisfy your curiosity very soon. But I want you people to know they don't want me to talk. But I'm ready to talk. Why is she bent on destroying the joy of my family? Because definitely there will be a fallout. Not because I have anything to hide. There might be fallouts. My king, I tried to dissuade her from it. But she's stubborn. She vows to tell her children tonight. Chama, I'm here. Okay. Amara. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Amara, things mm -hmm. are about to happen in this palace. Mm -hmm. I was in our room with Kalu when the queen walked in and told Kalu it was time to tell them why she summoned them here. I try to follow. What? Chioma? Yes? You tried to follow the queen to hear what she was going to say? Yes. Now listen. Let me tell you. I have been in this palace long before you came into it. And I am going to tell you this. If you're going to remain in this palace, there are rules and regulations you must abide by. One, never you eavesdrop to any conversation going on between members of the royal family. Secondly, Whatever happens in the palace remains in the palace. You must not say it to anybody outside. In other words, mind your business. What is your business? Your business is being a dutiful wife to the prince. Do you understand? Don't do it again. If you say so, thank you. Sometimes it feels like everything is working against you. It feels like the world is about to collapse on us. 
Ada, I know that something is wrong. And I know that the devil is trying to wear his ugly head. I know you are troubled. But the Bible says we should call upon God in the days of trouble. He said we should not try to handle it on our own. Because we cannot. We shouldn't try to suck it up or be calm about it. He said we should come to him in the time of trouble. And he will rescue us and honor us. And his name will be glorified. That is all we can do. And we trust that he is able to do everything. Prayer is all we can do. He's our father. He knows and he understands. Let us talk to God in prayers. Because through prayers, we know that we can overcome anything. Thank you. Thank you for your ever uplifting words. I appreciate. You're welcome. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. Adese, you're needed in the sitting room. I'll be there shortly. Can we say a short prayer before you go? Sure. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your father is supposed to name his successor to his throne. The successor grooming as the day of his yama is supposed to begin. That is our tradition. So that the successor grooming will start as the Eze Isiyama. The problem is, your father wants to name the wrong person as his successor. What? Oh, oh. Why would he do that? But mother, is there another successor apart from Ikechi? Your father wants to name Ikechi as his successor. Ikechi is not the rightful heir to the throne, but Carlo. His Majesty, Ezeobidibo, and myself, we are not your biological parents.
How's he doing? How is he, doctor? Your Highness, he's in a very, very critical condition. We're talking about a heart attack. Heart attack. Okay, uh, can we uh, make arrangements to get him out of the country for treatment? I think uh, that would be the best thing to do. But still, we can take him, move him to the hospital. Absolutely, Your Highness. Please, can I see you outside? to fly you abroad. No. No. No need for that. Mm. It's too late. Mm. Mm. There is something I want to tell you. Kichi is my biological son, not adopted as was said. Uh, uh, his mother was a woman I was having a traumatic affair with him. That effect, she got pregnant, uh, and we had a kid. A kid is a brother, and my first son. Your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. My first son.
mother is dead. This is true. Uduma! The thunder that brings down the Hiroko tree. The wind that bends the trees with a whisper. The running water that carries the log of wood. Go well, great man of his hero. Go well. This is unbelievable. Uduma! Hi! Uduma! This is unbelievable. Ah. May your soul be accepted in the great beyond. You are our king. A great king of his Yama kingdom. You remain a king. Go well, our king. Hey! Mm. I'm 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 Hi! Rest well, my king. She just started acting strange.
Doctor, how is she? Your Highness, I've given her a sedative to enable her to calm down. The passing of the AZ must have really affected her. Um, don't you think she should be admitted so she can be monitored closely? There will be no need for that. But all the same, I'll be here later in the day to see how she's doing. Please excuse me. Okay. It must be for the formal conference announcing the passing away of the EZ. Ikeji, please lie us with the palace secretary and come up with a statement. I will immediately. No, please. Not so fast. No. He is not the right person to do that. Ikeji, I have told you who you are in this palace. Let the right air do it. Carlo, take up your responsibilities. Okay. Onwa London na zeza zo. When Dana hears it, I don't know what it is. Mili Malugo. Nasuga. Your Majesty, I thought that we'll shift the rank off for now and present a united front until after this barrier is over. We can settle down and resolve this matter once and for all. I'm in a better position to tell you the truth. But for now, let us let the spirit of the easy go in peace and have a very peaceful burial. If you people had listened to me, there would have been no need for this. The damage is done already. Let's live with it. Let me tell you something. Have this in mind. Carlo is the right successor to the throne and his duty starts now. Sorry, but Adese's case has gone beyond my area of specialization. And I may have to refer her to a specialist, of course. You mean a psychiatrist? Yes, I'm afraid so. And the earlier, the better. She was close to her father. All right, then I will come with you immediately so I can sign the necessary papers. Okay, sorry. Excuse me.
Mom, this is so bad. I didn't know Adeze could take that thing so badly. Well, what has happened has happened. There's nothing anyone can do about it. The most important thing now is the future. Who is going to be the next Eze of Isiyama? That is all that matters now. Yes, that is Dojo de Comprignon, but mom, what are the elders saying? I have told you, condition your mind as the next Eze of Isiyama. What anyone says doesn't matter. You have to take it by force and I am solidly behind you. Just that. I'm all ears. I'm sure you all have heard that Gichi is not a biological child. Her Majesty, I'm aware of that, but. Um... Ezuduma named him his successor. Is that not going against our tradition? Her Majesty, on the contrary, you are actually the one that is speaking against the tradition by opposing what Ezuduma said. Well, it's quite unfortunate that he didn't name anyone officially before he died. So that bastard cannot take after him. But no! Ibe, I want you to listen to me. I'm listening. I want you to see to it. Yes. I'm going to give you four million cash and some Naira. I want you to execute this matter. Talk to your fellow chiefs, especially the king makers. Make them see reasons with you. Spend this money and get me results. Majesty, I am aware that Ezuduma did not officially announce Ikechi as his successor. You are right. It's only a woman that tells the real father of a child. For you to say that Ikechi is not a biological son of this royal house, he is a bastard. He is a bastard. Ikechi is a bastard. Cure ED. <laughs> he cannot be our king. Um, I am going to see the chiefs. I will bring results. I'm going to visit each and every one of them. Okay. And by the time they see me, they will agree with me that um, Kalo is our rightful king. He is the supposed king of his Yama kingdom. <laughs> Ibe, <laughs> I want results. No problem. <laughs> this is just for the execution. Yeah. After which, I'll send you two million. Two million. Million. Yes. Additional. Yes. Ibe, mili. Hell.
Sadly so. Eh? So this is how people run mad. Chioma, she is not mad. It is psychological shock. No, leave that thing. It's all the same thing. They all end up locked up in psychia. Yeah. Ikechi, I want to see you. I was told you met with Omonna yesterday. Is that true? Uh, yes, it is. I covered some grounds and I still have a couple of Listen, medicine. and listen carefully. You've done enough. Henceforth, I do not want you to undertake any responsibilities again. Yes. May I know why? It is because. It is the duty of the first son. Wish you not. Let me take you back and remind you of what mother said. She said you were adopted. Get hold of that word. Underline it. Circle it. Bracket it. It will help you. Yes, I am the heir to the throne of this kingdom. So it is my duty to carry out all the necessary activities and not you. Do you understand? Carlo in Apuala. Are you raving mad? You dare talk to me in this manner? What? You're letting what mother said get to your head, right? I am not against you living here. After all, you grew up in this palace. But while you are living here, I want you to know that you are not biologically from here. Greetings, my princess. Your food is ready. Come on, get out, idiot! Get out! So if you must stay here, you must stand with one leg. My frequency. Oh, my frequency. My frequency. Well, 
you can see. I allowed you to call me mother because I raised you. It is quite understood now that I am not your biological mother. Why are you doing this to me? Did I offend you? Can you offend me? Did I ever offend you? I have been most dutiful to you in every way a parent can imagine. Please, if I have offended you with everything in me, I apologize. I am sorry. Don't stop embarrassing me like this. You did not offend me. I am not embarrassing you. All I'm trying to say is, it is good for a man to know his parents. And I'm making it possible for you to go and find your parents. But I do not want to find anybody. Are you even listening to what you're saying to me? Mother, you are all I have right now. Especially now that dad is gone. Please stop with the words. They cut so deep. You're hurting me. Stop torturing Enough! me. Enough! Enough! For you here in this palace. I am telling you there's no space for you. Go and look for your parents. I want you to know there is no space for you here. Go and find your parents. from this nightmare. But it's not going away. I cannot understand. It's killing me. How can the woman I've called mother all my life suddenly wake up to say I am not a child? My love, we should go back to Lake. Wait. will be meeting. Let's just wait and hear what they have to say. I'm sick and tired of the humiliation. It's breaking me. since last night. Please eat before you fall sick. Hmm? Sorry you had to see me like this. It's fine. I need a minute.
Behold the new queen of Isiama community. <laughs> hey! Aren't you going to congratulate me? Come on. <laughs> hey! Be nice to you. You know you're a nice person. Hmm? <laughs> hey, I'll see you around. <laughs> My fellow elders, this emergency meeting was called because of the demise of the easy and the vacancy that has resulted from the Aze's demise. Uh, yes, the Aze was about to name his successor when he joined it. The question before us is what do we do in this situation? Um, do we know which of his two sons he would have chosen? Yes, of course. The Eze told Ibi and myself. Apart from that, it should be his first son, Hikechi. Chief Udenzi, point of correction. Eh? Point of correction. Good day, thing you said our Igwe was about to choose a successor. Good thing also you said I was there because I never had him saying you should speak on his behalf. Why telling us who will be the Eze? Um, uh, that's in council. It has been proven that Ikechi is an adopted son. Yes. The Eze's wife revealed that Ikechi is not their biological son. And on that note, being the secretary to this very royal house and this throne, the entire kingdom, I made a proper research. In fact, I investigated on this very matter. I came out with results. I'm always in the right side. And uh, here it is. Feel free if you want to close. <laughs> Since there is an evidence, there's no way we'll allow a bastard, I mean an illegitimate, mm -hmm. to sit on the throne of Isiama. When true sons are there, it's unheard of. It has never happened. And we not. Then what are we saying? Wait a minute. Eze Uduma told us in confidence who we succeeded. We cannot go against this witch. Chief Udense, is his wish in line with our tradition? I presume 
The answer is no. Whereby the answer is no. Is it expected of us to enthrone a total stranger? If we should try it, the wrath of the gods will fall upon us. Ikechi is not a stranger. If he was, the Eze would not have insisted that he should succeed him. I'm sure he's his Eze son. If I will say something, this is an intricate matter that you cannot settle now. But I would rather suggest I will share it. Come back to it after burying our Igwe. What we need now is an interim easy who will handle matters for now. This is a wise saying. <laughs> there is wisdom in it. A wise way of speaking. And I am standing in line with you. I hope you are standing in line. Can you see it? Can you hear him? I love to do things in the right way. <laughs> in fact, my name is Mr. Right. Um, um, Chief Udensi. Follow him by what he said. You had him. What we need now is to shelve this argument and bring in an interim. Because our Iwe, the Ezel, who has joined our ancestors, he will be pleased if we give him a befitting burial, is he not? <laughs> and that is what is expected of us. And um, if you permit me to say, let us be democratic. Let us find out amongst us who is in support of Ikechi being the Eze. <laughs> Chief Udense, a tree cannot make a forest. I'm only seeing just your hand. Eh? In other words, Ikechi has just one vote from you. It's okay. We have only one man standing for Ikechi. Uh, who is in support of uh, Carlo? Being our interim as a. Yes, 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 yes. Um, um, Chief Udesi, count it for us. How many? Majority carries the vote. Majority carries the vote. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> join us, join us, Chief Udesi. Chief Udensi, join us and wear smiles. Yes. It takes a lot of muscles oh, to yeah. frown. This man alone. Eh? <laughs> um, let us let us proceed. Uh, <laughs> let us proceed. Uh, <laughs> let us proceed. Uh, I'm after you. After you. <laughs> uh, we do the right thing, following the right way. <laughs> Ichi, where are you going? Is the meeting over? They have all gone mad. They are all caught up with a goris fever. Look, son, I'm tired. I need rest. I'll speak with you on the phone. Please excuse me. I am. 
Expression on your face. I can see that your opinion in this matter is no longer popular among the kingmakers. Am I right? That is to tell you that you have no place in this new era. Excuse me. What I am trying to say. Keep your opinion to yourself. Leave this palace. Your opinion is no longer needed. How dare you? How dare you speak to me in that manner? Let me warn you. You are beginning to sound insulting. You may have been married to the late Aze, but that does not give you a say in the politics of this palace. This is not your father's land. You are a visitor in Isiama. Yes, I might not come from Isiema, but by virtue of marriage and my son heritage, I can tell you what to do. If I ever hear you talk against my son's accession to the throne, you will die. Take that from me. join me and start parking. We're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. What was the outcome of the meeting? If the outcome was good, I will not be asking us to leave. They anonymously voted Carlo. Yes. The world has gone mad. It's turning inside out. We need to leave. Okay. What are we leaving to? Lagos, of course. Wait, wait. What about our Daisy? If we leave for Lagos, Adese will be abandoned. We are the only ones that care about her. Please, let's not go to Lagos. to school with people just to be around the desert. We can go to my father's place. He has the whole house to himself. And I already hinted him about it. Yeah. You have a point. Especially with your daisy. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, don't go! I feel mad at you. I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not
Actually, there is a liturgy that needs to be performed. For your own good. Jesus. 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 I thought to Angega. That's right, God. We all know why we are here. Oh, yes. We all agreed and nominated our prince to represent us as the interim king of Isiama Kingdom. That is why we are seated here today. Oh, yes. Mm. We know the procedure. And we have the Deputy Prime Minister of Isiama Kingdom seated here with us in this very meeting. Um, you. you know what to do. Isiama Gwen! Isiama Gwen! Isiama Gwen! Isiama Gwen! My Prince, uh, as tradition and custom demands, so we have to fulfill it. Mm. Yes. So, my prince, please come and kneel down. By the power vested on me as the second in command of the Royal Cabinet Council of this kingdom, I hereby confirm you the interim king of Isyama Kingdom. I still remain and will always be the prime most interparel it novel I should be Meaning, I am the most high, well respected, all over the world. I have gone far and wild, and I have seen how things have been done in a civilized world. But here in this kingdom, we turn things upside down. Yes, but I'm here to put things right. Ha! 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 Yes, I am assuring you, from now henceforth, I do not want any of you inside this palace without my invitation. If you want to see me or come to this palace, you must book appointment. The last but not the least, hold your ears. The last but not the least, I do not want any of you to discuss any matter or matters concerning this palace in my absence. Yes, none of you should dare me because nobody try and sees my calability and remain the same. Because my frequency, oh my frequency, my frequency is on a high tension wire. 
I am done with you people. Get out! Huh? I said, get out! It's your mind! 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 It's your Yes, I am here now. Everything must change. <laughs> have changed. The old order is fast passing away, giving room to a new order. With the appointment of my husband as the new interim Eze, I am now the law law in charge of the domestics in the palace. If you disrespect me or disobey me, you will be punished. I want this compound clean at all times. Do you understand me? Yes. I will not entertain laziness or idle gossips. Is that understood? Yes. Thank you. See, don't understand what is happening. Eh? What happened is that we collected bribe and they installed Carlo, the interim Eze. Eh? Something that has never happened in the history of this palace. Then he turned around and kicked us out of this palace. Eh? In fact, this is Q against traditional order. Do you now understand what happened? When he brought the money, I told you all that you're going to have a precaution, but never listen to me. That boy, what gave him the order? The gods and the shameless boldness to kick out of the palace because we took money. Ibe, we hold responsible for this. Yes. What? Yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, that's a council. Money brings all chairs. Hmm? Hmm? Money. How? Brings what she has. No, <laughs> when you collected the money, hey. all of you were wearing smiles on your faces. <laughs> ah. Now you are saying what I don't understand. We need to understand the Carlo the Intrimez. Mm. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. <laughs> Let me ask you Is there any way that you will make money you will not suffer? You suffer to make money. And I want to go to eBay. Eh? Hold your peace. I should hold my peace. I have yes. peace already. This is not time for your explanation. We brought this show upon us. Oh, yes. uh, 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 and we are equally word. involved. We are all equally involved. When a man, a grown up man, plays the child on the town, what do you expect? 
His body be swell of sound. Oh yes, you are very correct. What I have all over my body is money, and what I give to all of you is money. You fear it. I did not fear. You fear it. I did not fear. Wait, you fear it. You fear it. I did not fear. You fear it. You fear it. Oh my frequency. Then the. I should get into the big one. 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 Wait, Anonis. You know you're the closest person to the royal family. Being the personal maiden to, to Lolo, what exactly is happening in this palace? Hmm. My sister, things are really happening. The queen told everybody that Prince Ikechi is an adopted child and that he cannot be crowned the next Eze. Hey! Huh. Anuli, how did you know? Is it true? How will I know? Eh? <sighs> My dear, the late Eze won't her not to mention it to anybody. But you know the queen now, she won't listen. She went ahead and do so. I understand it's the cause of Eze's death. My dear, what is bothering me now is, you see that one, Ichoma? Hey, that one that will not let anybody in this palace drink water and drop cup. If you, you needed to see the way she was hovering me around in the kitchen. Oh, I know she do this, I know she do And she was practically washing my mouth if I was eating something. Hey! I know she, I don't die. And I understand that she is just a girlfriend. Just the girlfriend. My no dear. introduction has been done in my head. Eh? And she's busy carrying herself like she, she's the queen of the spice. <laughs> my dear, even the queen herself, she has turned to something else though. Eh? Queen has turned to something else. She now behaves as one released from a cage. And she's so conscious of herself. Eh? With so much heavy makeup. <laughs> my sister. The queen now calls on the guards to massage her body. I did not say anything. Hi! Hey! Hey! My son, I want you to know that in everything concerning our lives, God knows it all. Whatever happens, be alas. I don't want this to weigh you down. God is not sleeping. He is ever watching over us. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you taking us in. Especially in such um, short notice. And how is your sister? She's at the hospital. Not in great condition. I... I shed tears when I saw her. She has totally lost it. Take heart, my son. If there is God, there is solution. God can do everything wherever man fails. We will look towards that. Now, concerning the story of your adoption, what are you doing about it? I'm currently running an investigation on it. Is that right? So, who else are we expecting? We are supposed to have a bar of Lagos today, but the PA called me few hours ago 
and say that they are not coming today, but they will tell us when next they will be coming. Okay then, son. The work in this palace is tedious. I hate attending to visitors. I'm going in there to lie down and sleep. I need to rest. Right, mom. I can take care of other things. Oh, please do. Thank you. If you don't mind, excuse me. <laughs> So, Chief Ibe, what other appointments do we have today? For now, my prince, Ibe, <laughs> none, none for now. Uh, I beg to take my leave. All right, I see. Okay. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dear boy. Who is the person? It's a lady. And she wants to see you. A lady? Alright, send her in. It's okay. Good day, Your Highness. Good day, young lady. Have a seat. Ah, thank you. Young lady, how may I help you? Your Highness, Ocean's Field Limited is interested in buying or leasing a piece of land towards the express. They want to use it as a transit trailer's park. They are willing to grace your hand with a sum of 25 million naira. Yeah, you can either use it or give it to anyone you want. But the good news is the 25 million is not part of the main deal. Good news. Do you have any document or documents to show for it? Yes, Your Highness. Here it is. Consider it done. I want to see the money first. I will convince them to pay you 10 million naira. After the sales of the land is being completed, you'll get the balance of 15 million. Good news. Then we can do business. All right, Your Highness, thank you so much. An epitome of beauty. Paragon of Ifanalo. I am wondering if we can have lunch together so we can know ourselves well. <laughs> um, um, sure, Your Highness. Me, you're the prince of this land. Who am I to say no? <laughs> I love that. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
Please, who is that girl? And where are they going to? Are you deaf? Hey, I've finished. Help! Hello! Hello! I expect the both of you to respect me henceforth, since I'm going to be the queen of this kingdom. Please start treating me with respect because I am no longer in your category, as you can see. Ha! Do you are quarreling now? We are not quarreling, but the next time you see me and you want to call my name, please call my name with some respect. Yes. Oh, 
come in. Yeah, it's there. Mommy, sorry to disturb you. Kado is not back yet, but his bodyguards are here. And I'm worried. My dear, there is nothing to be worried about. He is fine wherever he is. Besides, I just spoke to him not quite long ago. So you just go to bed. If you say so. Next. How did it go? Honey, talk to me now. Babe. Daddy! Daddy! Yes, I'm coming. Ikechi is back. finished for me. They were right after all. Papa. I am just a bastard. The orphanage confirmed it. family I grew up loving, sharing everything with, it was all a lie, a pleasant mirage. Good morning, and how was your night? 
It was fine. And yours? Mine was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frederick sent me a message. Okay. He said I should tell you to check your inbox that he sent you the money already. <laughs> All right, I will do that later. Meanwhile, I want to run this bag over and over again. I hope you have my strength. Most definitely. <laughs> All right. Of course, baby. I've been searching everywhere for you. Where have you been? You even had your phone switched off. And why are you looking for me? I was worried, of course. Why didn't you come to my room as usual? Why all these useless questions? Listen, go and make breakfast for me. Mandy. Yes, sugar. Are you in for breakfast? Um, no, baby. I don't think I want to eat. But I would like to watch you eat. Beautiful. Make it snappy, you know. Don't keep me waiting. Okay? Baby. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the stupid interruptions. Come on, let me feel it one more time. Before we get down, let me feel it. Oh my God. My baby. I want to run you over and over again. Mm. 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 Okay, G. I was telling Amara a dream I had of a daisy. I have a conviction that her problem is not medical but spiritual. We, we have to tackle it spiritual. There is nothing beyond God. Whatever it is your advice, you will do. I mean, it's... It's mind-boggling. It's my imagination every time to think that a young, vibrant girl would just snap and lose it just like that. Rest your mind. Because uh, I believe the yoke has been broken. He that promised is faithful. He never fails. If you both will excuse me. My prince. Yes, 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 yes. I am just outside the psychiatry. Uh, I just thought I should give you an update on the condition of your sister. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I must say, it's not looking good at all, my prince. You need to come and at least see her so that we we'll know the next step to take. It's not it's getting worse. Yes. Thank you for telling. I'll, I'll be with you. So, I'll be with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Hey, who was that?
darkness cannot overshadow light. And Christ is our light. And the mention of Jesus' name, every name was bowed. Deacon. Yes, Pastor. There's a smoke coming out of her head. There's smoke overshadowing her. Yes, Pastor. This is the handwork of the evil one. The power of darkness. But I assure you that the Lord will deliver her. Yes. Daddy Mama. You are the Lord. Let thy name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let thy name be glorified. I give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let thy name be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. a child of the living God and no power fashioned against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. May your name alone be glorified. Amen. May your name alone be adored. Amen. May your name alone be worshipped. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Deacon. Yes, Pastor. Like I said before, this is the handwork of the devil. And I want to assure you that the Lord will set her free. Amen. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, spiritualities in high places. Listen, I'll be coming here every morning and evening to pray for her. And I assure you that in the next seven days, the power of God will manifest in her life. She will be all right. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Thank you, Pastor. So far, so good. We have 10 million, right? I want you to fix 4 million in a fixed account. It's necessary to have savings. And you also put... Um, Wait a minute, more. Have you forgotten I gave Mandy 1 million for her effort? Yes. I don't have a problem with that. As no one is seeing your lachaka. So it's okay. Confirm. Go on. As I was saying, we have nine million left. Yes. Good. Fixed four million. Two million in my account. Three million for you. Then one million for the running around of the palace. You know renovation is going on. Yeah. So just keep one million out there. All right. What next? Um, I'm expecting Mandy. You know, she's giving us information. Okay. I want her to cost that land so we can know the value and know how much to sell it. Mm. Sounds interesting. Yes. That's good. All right, Mom.
know you are the person that slept with my husband three nights ago. <laughs> and who wants to know, if I may ask? Without being told, you should know I am Prince Kalu's wife. Sweetheart, listen attentively. When I was having a good time with my sugar boy, my prince, we talked about a whole lot of things and he told me he isn't married to anyone. Yes, so why are you blabbing that he is your husband? Oh, oh I see. I think I remember you. Yes, it's you. You were the one. You were the one that served me breakfast three days ago. Oh, I see. Come on, baby girl. You have to get ready to serve me my lunch ASAP. Nothing can stop me from having my friends to myself. Not even your little cockroach. Nonsense. The audacity for me. How dare you! Ah! Ah! Are you stupid? Ah! Are you mad? What is going on there? I said, what is going on there? Mandy. Hey, boo boo. Hey, sugar sugar. Can you imagine this idiot? This Nikon poof. This Kaliwag. I came to see you, and this idiot sent for me. And I came here, she asked me if I was the one that slept with her husband three days ago. And I told her that my prince isn't married to anyone. And the next thing, this idiot, this little cockroach turned around and slapped me. You can, you, you can ask all these people here, they all witnessed everything that happened. Chioma, is that true? She disrespected me. By the way, why are you dressed like that? I said, who permitted you to dress like that? Are you of royalty? Don't you know it's an impersonation? Guards! Maids! Strip her off everything concerning no, 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 no. royalty. Please, please. Yes! She's no longer in this fight. I've sent her away. Good. My prince, please, you don't have to punish her because of me. She deserves every punishment that comes to her. Do you know what it means to impersonate a status where you don't belong? Hey! Imagine her wearing the royal regalia. Something is definitely wrong with that girl. That's by the way. What's the update? Um, very well. Mr. Frederick is happy to be doing business with you. But there's a class in continuing the business. And what could that be? He said before he would continue to deal 
that you must be coronated as the king of Isiaba. His reason is being in the interim, someone else might surface and play the drum. And that might deny the company the sales of the land. And they don't want to take that risk. There is no one else to lay claim to the throne of this kingdom. I am doing this song. I did everything to convince them that there is no contender to the throne. That rulership here is hereditary. Finally, he said, okay, but they would have to wait until you become the authentic successor to the throne. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll get back to it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will have to take my Okay, then. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Yeah. You have to get chief me to have meetings with the king leaders. Mom, do you think they will honor my invitation? Considering the way I treated them the last time. Mom will molest them, chief of police. Don't come. Don't come. Whether they will agree to crown you as a successor to the throne should be what our concern. But whatever the case may be, we'll do all we can. Even if we have to go down on our knees to beg them, we will do so. Anyway, you have to go to Chief Lee so you can get up to it. You're right. All right. I warned you. I warned you about all this. I told you get Kalu committed. But you didn't. Instead, you went about parading yourself as a royalty. You are the cause of all these problems. Yes, I made a mistake. But I cannot believe Kalu asked the palace guards and maids to strip me naked. Right now, I don't even know what to do. I can't go back to my parents' house. Just hanging around with friends. Please, Amara, can I stay here with you? Choma, my father is not going to allow that. I suggest you go back to staying with your friends. But if you feel you can't continue to stay with them, maybe you should go back to Carlo. Try and talk things over with him. Hmm? See, you just have to stop crying. This is not something crying is going to solve. Please. No, no, Choma, please don't do please, this. Do, please, no, Amara, don't. please. Please, I'm begging you to. No, wala. Thank you. Oh, yeah, give me my change. Give me. Give me my change. Is this not Princess Chioma? Oh, Princess Chioma? Hey! Hey, 
Mr. Choma, what happened to you now? Eh? My dear, I almost didn't recognize her. Come on, come on. Hey, what? What's that? Give me my change. My dear, I, I almost didn't recognize her. Mr. Choma, what happened to you? Hey! 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 What happened to you? I almost didn't recognize her. Oh? Is she hiding her face? Princess Choma, <laughs> where are you robbed? Where is your royal regalia? Alpha, Princess Choma, why are you trekking like us? You call me what about your car and your mates? I can't see any of them. <coughs> what happened to you? <laughs> what happened? You cannot talk again. Almighty Princess Queen Choma. Okay, now that you're back to your level. When is the date of your marriage? We want to come. <laughs> you don't want us to come. Princess Joma, <laughs> when is Look the date? not so 200 code in a hanky. You know the shame? Feel like that. Princess like Almighty Lord, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's official. When? Yeah. Where's when? Yeah. Um, I am happy that uh, you all are present here. When I came to see you all individually, the question I got from all of you was why this meeting? As the secretary to this very royal house, let me say this is more like a reconciliatory meeting. <laughs> but nevertheless, the prince, Ibe, <laughs> he knows the agenda of this meeting, the main agenda. <laughs> and he is here. <laughs> You can address the elders. We are listening, they get empty. Aye. My elders. Hmm? My fathers. I summoned you for two reasons. First, is to apologize to you based on the way I spoke to you the last time. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Come on my knees, please forgive me. <laughs> um, 
Adasan Kanso. Ndiche. That's Office Yama. As you can see, your son, he has humbled himself before all of you. Um, a man a well, I can we piamati here, a well, I can't be done at Eh? When you flog a child with the right hand, you use the left hand to pacify the child, bring the child back. <laughs> Let us. <laughs> Uh, I accept his apology so that uh, Oploto, he can stand up. Hopefully, he'll see you. Hi. My fellow elders, we have seen it all. My prince, please stand. Stand up. Oh, cheers. Uh, our people used to say that to a is human, and to forgive is divine. Mm. My prince, on behalf of my fellow elders, I accept your apology. Furthermore, I want to let us know that we all here have a responsibility to serve our community. We owe it as a duty that whenever we are called upon, we will always come to serve. Omaka, omaka. That is it. <laughs> I hope I'm speaking our minds. Of course. Yeah. So, my prince, you said you have a, the second agenda. Please, let us know it. We are all ears. The second reason why I summoned you is based on my status as the interim exec. My status has been limiting me from carrying out so many duties that will bring development to this community. You know, the government don't deal with the interims. They deal with the bona fide and confirmed traditional rulers. So my elders, the least you can do for me now is to declare me the authentic successor to the throne of this great kingdom, so I can represent you people well. I, I, I don't know if I have spoken your mind. Yeah. 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 Whatever it is that is necessary for us to do to empower the Eze of our land, that we will do when called upon. But we must follow the traditional procedure. Uh, if I may, I may ask, where is Chief, Chief Udensi? Huh? Where is he? Chief Ibe, answer him. <laughs> um, elders in council, elders of Isiama. Hmm? Uh, you know, as the second, as the secretary to this very royal house. I did what I am supposed to do by making sure I informed him about this meeting. I'm surprised he is not here. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, there is no problem. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, we will always do that which is necessary to empower our king. Future. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, um, but we cannot do that when we are not complete. You see? Yes. yes. <laughs> we cannot do that in the absence of the traditional prime minister. He is the leader of this council of chiefs. Um, um, if there is any more thing that you want to tell us, let us hear it. If not, we beg to leave. Chief Ibe. How do we convince Chief Udensi? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, Prince Carl, you were. do the right thing at the right time with the right people like you. <laughs> I did everything to bring him to this meeting, but he blatantly refused. However, as a wise person I am, I believe in applying wisdom in everything I do. There is this wise step that we can still take um, to bring him closer to us. He can't be a stumbling block. Something will make him soft. Right? Give it a try. All right, we romance over the issue. Ochieza Amaka. Ochieza Amaka. Hey. Ochieze. Ochieze Amaka. Hey, we. Oh, Luchi, ah, you're going to make me proud. Good afternoon, my prince. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You've grown into a big girl. I believe you are in the university now. Yes, I'm in object level studying law in Unisic. Beautiful. And I'm about going back to school now. All right, one of these days I will pay you a visit. That's Thank your transport. You. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hmm. Wait for me in the car. What are you doing in my house? No matter what, we are family. You are my father's cousin. And you have a say in the palace. Oh, now you know I have a say in the palace. That's why you've come to see me. Now you didn't see. I am not here to argue with you. 
am here to apologize to you. Please come back to the palace. There are so many decisions that need to be taken. Now listen to me and listen good. You can go back to your palace and take those your decisions. As long as AKG is not the one succeeding your father, I have no business to do in the palace. I am not afraid when I sleep with a widow because I know where the husband is. Hello? Hello? Daddy! Daddy, they kidnapped me! They said they would kill me! Kidnap? What are you talking about? Daddy, they said they would kill me if you don't comply! Daddy, please help me! Comply with what? What do they want for my daughter? I beg you in the name of God, please don't touch her. Just tell me what you want and I will give it to you. Please, we will notify you soon. But in the meantime, if you see an interference by the police, she is good as dead. Keep your phone line open. Hello? Hello? Ah, hello? The light has gone dead. Daughter, my only child. I waited for her for 15 years. No, it can't happen. It can't happen. My palace contact told me that Kalu and the mother masterminded the kidnap. But why? Why would they do a thing like that? They want me to join the other kingmakers to confirm him as successor to the throne, then go ahead to coronate him. They can't do it without me because of my office, so they need me to be there. So what are you going to do? I'm not going to succumb to their whims. If they think they can intimidate me, they better start thinking again. Your father was very specific about what he wanted, which is the truth. I admire your courage, but I think your daughter's life is worth way more. And I advise you do any and everything to save her. Excuse me. Hello, Pastor. I'm a bit busy right now, but I have planned to come and see you later. Wait, what? How did it happen? I'm on my way. You'll have to excuse me. Okay. I'll call you later. Okay.
Um, where is my sister? I didn't know where I was. I felt trapped. Not until this morning. I felt an explosion that shook where I was standing. Then I saw a ray of bright light. That light was the Holy Spirit. Breaking the spell can tell you. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Giving glory to the Lord, we reign. Giving glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Now you then see. I am happy we have come to compromise. No need for all this rancor again. Yes. I will do as you say. I will call Chief Ibe to pick a date and get back to you. I want my daughter right away. Oh, your daughter. I am assuring you that your daughter is in safe hands in this palace. Yes, I believe you're a man of your words. And I believe and trust you keep to your words. And based on that, First thing tomorrow morning, I'm assuring you that you see your daughter in your house. Yes, just keep to your words. Good night. Mom. Yes. I told you. I told you once I napped his precious daughter. He must concur to anything I say. He said we should pick a date. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That sounds interesting. Yes, mom, that's lovely. Is in a boogie, a boogie. And that's as all. Mom, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Finally, <laughs> everything is over. We'll talk all this happening in the palace. What should I do? Should I say the truth? No, no, no. My prince, at times I wonder if you actually think before you talk. My prince, how can you tell that young lady to abort a baby when you know very well that your beautiful wife, Uguri, has not given you a child for over five years? My candid advice is this. You need to keep this child. In case Ogori doesn't give you a child, I wouldn't want you to make a very silly mistake you will live to regret in future. The problem is that I don't want to marry her. I will say marry her is the problem. It is not the problem. The problem here is that you need to claim this child. You are my best friend and you can keep this as a secret. And then plan on how to bring in the child into your home. All I want you to do right now for me is to go back to that young lady and assure her that you are going to accept this child. I believe I have said the mind of the gods. And as a friend, I believe I have said the truth and nothing but the truth. You need to think about it, my prince. <sighs> I can't. My hands are tied. What? What should I do now? I'm so confused. 
How do I make it right? I know the truth, but I can't say it. I can't. Today is a great day oh, yes. for this great kingdom. It's yeah. the kingdom. Mm -hmm. eh? Today we are going to have a new king. And the traditional prime minister is here to do the needful. Eh? <laughs> Anyone that eats the testicle of a ram is indebted to a swollen scrotum. Yes, I have paid my dues and I paid in full. So I deserve an accolade. Yes, I deserve an accolade. Why is the cable? Yes, I want to see that person. I want to play the hero. I will not just blast your head. Yes, but I will make sure your kids don't grow. I'll wipe your entire family. Because nobody try Yancey's my calability and remain the same. Even if I forget everything, I can never forget my frequency. Oh, my frequency. My frequency is on a high tension wire. Yes. Who is that vagabond that is going to cram me? Proceed. Naimuli, you are the son of your father. The son of the soil. Oh, Naimuli. I am an impatient person. Ion. My prince. If after 15 seconds, and this crown is not on my head. Blast everybody. Fast! Crown! Fast! Crown! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do 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 it! 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 Yes. Yes. What's wrong? 
Now the crime. Hey! Otua! Go ahead. Fast. By the powers conferred on me as the Prime Minister of Isiama Kingdom, I hereby crown you the 11th Eze Obidigo of Isiama Kingdom. My head is burning. What did you put in the clan? My head is burning. What did you put in the clan? No, what did you put in the clan? Where's my frequency? Where's my frequency? Where's my frequency? I can't find my frequency. Where's my frequency? But my frequency. My body is burning. My body is burning. My frequency. Where's my frequency? My body is burning. Where's my frequency? Where's my frequency? I can't find my frequency. I didn't do anything. My body is burning. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. But. But. By our culture and tradition. When a man that is not of the royal bloodline wears the crown, he goes bad. Yes. Is there anything you want to tell us? Speak now! My frequency. Before it gets too late. My frequency. What nonsense are you talking about? My frequency. What nonsense? You better confess now. Confess before it is too late. Speak! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? My elders and kingmakers, I greet you all. I was the last person my father spoke with before he passed away. Fly you abroad. No. No. No need for that. It is too late. There is something I want to tell you. He 
Ikechi is my biological son, not adopted as was said. Uh, uh, his mother was a woman I was having a traumatic affair with him. Uh, 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 to that effect, she got pregnant. Uh, and we had a Ikechi. Ikechi is her brother. And my first son uh, uh, is your brother. Is your brother? Uh, is your brother oh, my first son? <laughs> Daddy, please, I beg you, you can't do this to me. Daddy, please. Mother, please, I beg you. Mother, please. What's going on? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Now tell me what are you satisfied? Tell me what is going on here. He kept on begging you. He was begging you, he was begging you, but you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. And I hold you responsible. You... No! Yes! That's not possible! Yes. No! Yes! You and I know I am speaking the truth. Because I told you. But because you did not want me to say it outside, you inflicted madness and deafness on me. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? She's right. Myself and Eze Uduwa, we grew up together. We were very close because we were first cousins. So I know everything about what happened. When he got married to her, she did not have a child in the early part of the marriage. It became a concern to her, Uduma, and Uduma's family. You know that your tears are what kings me my pain. Please oh, stop crying. You can now tell me. Yes, I got married to you. What is it that you want that I've not given to you? You have not given me a child. I'm well, we'll trying my best. We just have to wait for God's time. God's time is the best. Please, wipe your tears. How can I wipe my tears? When your mother torments me every day. How can I? And they all think I can't give you an egg. Now they will force you to take another woman as a wife. Oh, yeah. I know. You know that I can't do that. I will never marry another woman. Because I don't want to bring you unpleasant rivalry. But that is not the case. Lord, I will want you to. A child, so that the pain will be easier on you. How dare you suggest that I adopt a child? Have you forgotten you're the heir to the throne? <laughs> or would you want a bastard to be heir to the throne? <laughs> it will not get to that. I just want to buy you time so that you will conceive and give me heir to the throne. <laughs> you know what will happen? I will have to announce to the whole family that you are pregnant. We will now go to your mother's village. Maybe some months, we will come back with your baby. So fine. We go now. Uncle Nokalia. The money child. Stop hunting me. Oh, my frequency! My frequency! Frequency! Oh, my frequency! My frequency! My frequency is something. Oh, my frequency! My frequency! Hey! 
time. <laughs> you better confess now. Because if he gets to the marketplace, his madness will be incurable. Yes. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. Please, I'll talk. 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 Please. Please. I'll talk. 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 After, after we adopted Ikechi, I was wondering why the Igwe suggested we go for an adoption. So I felt he was important. That was, that was what I felt. So I decided to, to look for someone to get me pregnant. Yes, I. And I went to my mother's village to meet, to meet my boyfriend. Okay. He got me pregnant. Ah, no! Me, hey, on your son, pregnant. Go on. Hey, I, you want And now, and now, told Igwe he is responsible for the pregnancy. <laughs> And sacrilege. He was wicked. He was, he was happy. He was happy. He was happy. That was how we got Carlo. Hey! Please forgive me, please forgive me, please. Hey! You have all heard about her atrocities. Mm. The evil she has visited is our community. Mm. If we allow such a character to continue to live in this kingdom. Mm. The wrath of the gods will come upon us. Ah, yes. is that correct? Yes. The Prime Minister is correct. So I think we have to do the needful. Yes. Yes. You are hereby banished from this community. Or say so. Yes. Okay, no. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Leave. Go out, I'm sorry. Leave. Please, I'm sorry. Yes. Leave. Please. Please, 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 I don't know. I don't not Sure. Having had the revelations and submissions, as the Royal Council of Elders, we have to do the needful expected of us. So, Chief Udensi, over to you. You have spoken well. And it be to do the needful. We have to invite the kitchen and his beautiful wife. <laughs> My noble prince, come forth and say, Anna Zezas, Okama, Anna Zezas, Oyinina, I'm always on the right side. Yes, he will be the right place. Let him be a hit. Yes, he can see him at the door. He will go and kneel. Yes. Oh, God, I did. Hey. No, we should remove this thing. This thing does not belong here anymore. It does not belong here anymore. Bring that bit, bring that bit. This is a high frequency. Neil. By the powers conferred on me as the Prime Minister of Isiama I hereby crown you the true. 11th is a obitigo of Ixiama Kingdom. Yeah. 
and to be by your side while you rule this great kingdom is your beautiful wife. She is hereby giving authority as the law law will be the book of the Siama kingdom. The Isiama Kwenu, yeah. Isiama Kwenu, yeah. Isiama Kwenu, yeah. Isiama Kwenu, yeah. Against brother, blood and power. 